sana microscope na lang ako, no? Bakit naman? Pre, para lagi mo akong tinitignan. of a compound microscope. So a microscope is an instrument used to see objects that are too small or too minute to be seen by the naked eye. So the microscopy is the study of investigating small objects, okay, structures, magnifying glasses, or the oldest microscope that was used to see objects that are very small. So before, ang gamit is not microscope, but uh, the uh, usual na magnifying glass na nakikita natin. And uh, Anthony Van Dievenu is cited as the father of microbiology or what he calls small living things. He was the first to study this single-celled organism. So basically, he was the first one to introduce us the microscope. Compound microscope, this is an example of it. Okay, so there are three types or many types actually of microscope. Basically, then this one is a compound microscope, then we have the electron microscope, and then we also have probe microscope, and etc. So based, uh, based on the other studies, we have a type of uh, microscope that's in this company. So let us continue later on with the parts and functions of this microscope. See ya! We're going to talk about the parts of the microscope. Actually, the microscope is divided into three parts. It has the mechanical part, it has the magnifying part, and it has the illuminating part. So, uh, in this part, you can see these are the mechanical part of the microscope. There you go. And then, the magnifying part here. Yes, you can see here, and also here, and then we also have the illuminating part. This one, okay? The... Uh, mechanical part is the one we use our hands for us to be able to uh, uh, use the microscope okay? by using our hands and then we have the magnifying part where we can use the different lenses so that we can see the different small objects or minute objects that uh, cannot be seen by our naked eyes and then we have the illuminating part the illuminating part usually catches the light from the world illuminates it takes light so that we can see those uh, different uh, organisms or different uh, objects that we can see under the microscope. Hey, okay, okay. mo si Koke. So, welcome to uh, my science topic for the second quarter. It's all about microscopy. So, uh, this is the second part of the different functions and parts of the microscope. Okay, we will tackle each part so that we can distinct from one part to another part. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. So if you have any questions, just write down there. Okay? So let us start with the draw tube. Okay, the draw tube is a tube where uh, it is used to uh, move okay, the lenses towards or away from the specimen. So ginagamit ko para kung saan pwede natin ilapit sa specimen or ilayo yung mga lenses. Okay, so that we can see the specimen. And then, we have the body tube. This is a tube where the eyepiece is situated. Kung saan dito nakakalagay yung eyepiece. So, this is the eyepiece. Okay, it has it also the lens. Okay, may lens na dito. Meron pa tayong lens dito. Siya nilalang. Then, we have the coarse adjustment. The coarse adjustment is used. That is a nap that is located on the side of the microscope. Used to remove the draw tube. Okay. 
And then if the specimen is blurry and you cannot see it clearly, you use the fine adjustment. This is the fine adjustment. Also, the side. Okay, so kung medyo malabo pa at medyo hindi pa nakikita yung uh, specimen na maliwanag, okay, at malina, you use the fine adjustment. Okay, then we have also the arm. Okay, the arm. This is the arm, like a C-clamp. Okay, is to uh, support the upper part of the microscope and also it is connected to the base of the microscope. So, pakaimportante niyan kasi this is where we handle the microscope properly. So, when you uh, hold it like this and then support at the base, okay? And near to your body, so do not forget that. Then, let's go to the next part. The next part is the stage, okay? The stage is very important because this is a place where we put our slice or specimen, okay? It's a black part na okay, This is the stage. And then, along with the stage, we have the stage clips, okay? The stage clips, yeah, or the stage clip is a uh, very important so that the specimen is not moving, okay? that the specimen or your glass slice will not move from one place to another. Okay? And then we also have this one, the revolving nose piece. The revolving nose piece is where the lenses, the different lenses are attached and it revolves as you can see so that you can choose whatever lens you're going to use to view the specimen. Okay? And then we also have uh, the diaphragm. The diaphragm is located under the stage, this one. This is the stage, okay, and this is the diaphragm. It's located under it, and it regulates the light, okay. Meron siyang opening dito, okay, when the light reflects in the mirror towards the diaphragm, it regulates the light so that you can see clearly and you can see with light uh, specimen, okay. And then we also have the base. Okay. The base is for the support of the entire microscope. For nothing important to do. So without it, the microscope will not stand on its own. So this is the feet of the microscope. Okay? And then we also have, siyempre, yung objective lenses natin. These are the objective lenses. Okay. The objective lenses are uh, the lenses that is used to view the microscope, whether it is LPO, HPO, or OIO. And we have also scanner. Okay, the scanner is the basic one, which is you can magnify the specimen four times. Okay, and then we have the LPO, the low power objective, which is 10 times up magnification. Then we have the HPO, which is 40 times magnification, and then we have the OIO, the 100 times magnification. Then uh, LPO stands for low power objectives, and then we have uh, HPO, which is the high power objectives, and then the OIO, the oil immersion objectives. Okay, and then we have the same thing that we Mirror, important, important. We use the concave one so that it captures light properly. It's mas madali kasi magreflect ng light mga concave mirrors. So we use the concave mirrors like that. And then we have the pillar. Okay, this is the pillar. Support from base to the arm. Okay, this is the pillar. And then here, the small circle here is what we call the inclination joint so that whenever we uh, used to see the specimen properly we just uh, hold the base and then feel the arm so that you can capture like this like that okay and uh, later on we will uh, do some uh, examples and activities regarding uh, and knowing the microscope how to use it and how to handle it properly See ya guys!
guys, don't you forget to answer your quiz on the description below. You just click the description button there and then you can see your quiz down there. Don't you forget it and submit it to me, okay? See you guys.